There is no growth in your comfort zone. There is no growth in your comfort zone. Uh, be thankful for every test, obstacle, setback, or difficulty that you have been facing. It is bringing out the very best in you. Misfortune can be a gateway to opportunity. But when met, the majority of people turn away in sorrow and defeat. They do not realize the tremendous possibilities that lie ahead of them. And as a result, they miss out on ample opportunities for personal development, growth, and, and even success. Opportunities as such do not come very often. And when they do, they are almost always hidden behind the fog of misfortune. If you have programmed yourself through habit to yield or shy away from difficulties, you are only depriving yourself of the happiness, freedom, and prosperity you seek. It is an error to think that the attainment of success, or even love for that matter, is without failure, confusion, uncertainty, and discomfort. Uh, on the contrary, all of these things are essential and very, so very necessary elements that aid you in the achievement of your goals and the manifestation of your dreams. The height of your success and what you will attain and what you will become in life is totally up to you. But the journey and what you must endure to reach that summit is entirely out of your control. All that you can do and must do is surrender to the journey. And even though you may not be able to see where your foot may land, you have to faithfully take the next step. Believe and know that the more you walk out of fear and into faith, the pits of uncertainty will surely be paved into paths of prosperity. And the moment you decide to embrace and conquer discomfort, you will begin to step into the role of being the creator of your fate and the master of your destiny. And in the game of life, in the game of life, you will, you will soon learn that no level of success is greater than the challenges that come with it. It takes little to no effort to climb a hill in your backyard or a staircase in your home, but it takes a tremendous amount of willpower and fortitude to trek up the terrain of, say, Mount Everest. When you set the goal, you must also be aware of and ready for the climb. And even if you're not ready, go anyway. The journey will prepare you for the destination. Through every twist, turn, and moment of terror, you must pledge to never retreat or turn away from your destination. Uh, understand that no phenomenal woman, or prolific man for that matter, has ever been able to escape temporary defeat or misfortune. The only thing that separates the magnificent and amazing from the mediocre and the average is fortitude. That ability to persist through pain and peril and push through difficult times. The great ones always possess a sort of mental toughness and spiritual tenacity that allowed them to persevere through tests and confidently conquer challenges. Uh, they did not turn around. They did not turn around. They always kept going and thus they succeeded. And that is their only secret. They did not give up. The path to greatness is paved with uncertainty and haunted by discomfort. But these things only protect the riches of success from the spiritually poor. The spiritually poor are those who do not yet know the tremendous amount of wealth already treasured in their souls. Uh, the wealth of peace the wealth of knowledge and wisdom, the wealth of divine guidance, strength, and mental power. Uh, because we do not always seek these things first, difficulties often come to make them known to us. You know, we would not know our strength if our weaknesses were not exploited. We would not know our power if we have never stood face to face with defeat and adversity. Instead of turning away from difficulties, complaining or seeking a, a, a escape from tough times, we should instead offer our gratitude and 
embrace these rare opportunities for spiritual development and personal growth. Uh, be okay. Be okay with being uncomfortable. When we are comfortable, uh, we often get lazy and start to stray away from our disciplines and practices that we have allowed that have allowed us to progress and be where we are today. Uh, we may even begin to lose our creative passion, drive, and motivation to do the very things that we love to do. You know, comfort is the comfort is the cousin of complacency. And complacency is the mother of failure. To be uncomfortable is to be in great company. To be uncomfortable is to be in great company. Uh, you will understand and soon realize that the bulk of your success, creative inspiration, and motivation will come amid trying times. Uh, whenever we are out of our comfort zone, we are forced to search deep within us and around us for the answers to life's problems. Difficult times trigger something within us and serve as a reminder that we need to make a serious effort to change and reform ourselves so that we may change our lives for the better. They remind us that we are not living up to our full potential and that there is still, still so much that we have yet to discover about ourselves. Uh, we are urged to become more disciplined, more self-aware, and more God-seeking. And when we do, we open a well of power that has long been bottled up beneath the surface of our being. Um, every challenge, every difficulty, every test, and misfortunate circumstance comes only to awaken you to the power and divinity that rests within you. Embrace changing conditions. They have saved you from comfort. Realize that discomfort is a conduit for personal growth and soul development. If you are not comfortable, it means you're growing. It means that life is blessing you with an opportunity to change, to improve your knowledge and understanding about it, and to better yourself. It is okay to be content. It is a great danger to be comfortable. To be content is to be satisfied with circumstances and the way things are. To be comfortable is to sit in that satisfaction with no desire to improve yourself or continue to progress through life. Those that are comfortable fear losing what they have and thus they do not have the urge or ambition to go beyond this point. But because we are infinite beings, and there is still so much more that we must explore and experience. Life will always nudge us with difficulties and temporary challenges so that we may not rest stagnantly in our comfort zone. Uh, the potentialities that we possess must be explored. The boundlessness that is our essence must be experienced. The infiniteness that is our souls must be expressed. And that is why difficulties arise, because we are not meant to play it small. We were not made to play it safe. And how can we, when we are expressions of an infinite and all-powerful spirit? Its nature is our nature. Its power is our power. And its love is our life. And because this is so, we are ever, we are ever in its presence. So, fear not. Worry not. Push through difficulties, blossom and bloom through the seasons of change and discomfort. Never give up, never quit. That is the only secret. That is the only secret is to possess that mental fortitude and that spiritual toughness to persevere and progress. Every day, every step matters in the journey of life. Um, I send you love. I send you peace. I send you joy and guidance. My love.